Welcome back to History of Simple Things. Today's topic comes from one of our curious viewers, G. Young Blaze. Great question. You asked, what's the actual difference between a fire engine and a fire truck? If you've ever seen flashing lights speeding down the road and wondered why some fire vehicles carry hoses while others have towering ladders, you're not alone. These iconic red machines might look similar, but they serve very different roles when it comes to firefighting and rescue. So what sets them apart and why does it matter? Stick around as we break down the fiery facts and reveal the real difference between a fire engine and a fire truck right here on History of Simple Things. At first glance, fire engines and fire trucks look pretty similar. They're both large, red, and loaded with equipment. But these two types of emergency vehicles have very different roles when it comes to firefighting and rescue operations. Think of it like this. If the fire scene was a movie set, the fire engine is the lead actor, doing most of the heavy lifting when it comes to extinguishing the flames. The fire truck, meanwhile, is more like the support cast, doing the lifting, the cutting, and the rescuing. Let's start with the fire engine, which is also commonly referred to as a pumper. The main job of a fire engine is to put water on the fire. It comes equipped with hoses, a lot of them, and it usually carries a large water tank and a powerful pump. When firefighters arrive at a blaze, the fire engine is the one that hooks up to the fire hydrant and gets the water flowing. Most fire engines carry about 500 to 1,000 gallons of water, just in case they arrive before a hydrant can be accessed. They also store different sizes of hose, depending on the type of fire or the building layout. These hoses are like lifelines, running from the pump to the nozzle in a firefighter's hand. That long, extendable ladder you often see reaching toward windows, that's mounted on the fire truck. Some trucks also have platforms at the top of the ladder, which are called tower ladders or bucket trucks. These are especially useful when rescuing people or attacking fires from above. Fire trucks are toolboxes on wheels. They carry axes, power saws, hydraulic rescue tools like the jaws of life, ventilation fans, and sometimes even search and rescue gear. You'll also find ground ladders of various lengths strapped to the sides of the truck. If the engine is the muscle, the truck is the toolkit. One quick way to tell the difference, look for the pump panel. That's usually on a fire engine. It's a control area full of gauges and levers used to manage water flow and pressure. If you see that, it's probably an engine. On the other hand, if it's got a big ladder mounted on top and a ton of tools inside, you're likely looking at a truck. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. Not every department uses the same naming system. Some fire departments might refer to both as trucks in general conversation. Others might have hybrid vehicles that carry both water and a ladder, especially in rural areas where fewer vehicles respond to a scene. But in larger cities, the distinction between engine and truck is very clear and intentional. In terms of crew, fire engines and fire trucks often carry similar numbers of firefighters, usually three to five. But their responsibilities once they arrive on scene are very different. The engine crew focuses on suppression, getting water to the fire and putting it out. The truck crew focuses on support, forcing doors open, searching rooms for victims, setting up ladders, or cutting into the roof to release heat and smoke, a technique called vertical ventilation. These distinctions are crucial not only for firefighters, but for dispatchers, commanders, and even the public. When a 911 call comes in, the type of vehicle dispatched depends on the nature of the emergency. If it's a fire alarm activation, both an engine and a truck might go. If someone's trapped in a car after a crash, it might be the truck that responds with specialized rescue tools. If there's a small brush fire, that might just need an engine. 
It's easy to look at fire vehicles and just see shiny red machines rushing through traffic. But behind each one is a purpose-built tool carefully designed to meet specific challenges. Fire departments don't just buy trucks, they plan their fleets based on the needs of their community, the layout of their streets, and the types of emergencies they're likely to face. That level of planning shows us something important. Every piece of equipment on a fire ground is there for a reason. Nothing is random. Everything has a job to do. So why should you care about the difference? Because behind every fire scene is an orchestrated system that depends on the right tools doing the right job. Knowing that difference isn't just trivia, it gives you a glimpse into the complexity of emergency response. It helps us see firefighters not just as heroes, but as technicians and specialists, each with a clear role and responsibility. And perhaps most importantly, it reminds us that what looks like chaos on the surface is actually an operation built on precision, practice, and teamwork. They're not just reacting, they're executing a plan that's been rehearsed hundreds of times, in drills, at training academies, and on real streets under real pressure. It's also a matter of safety. When a team understands each vehicle's role, they avoid duplication, confusion, or dangerous overlap. That organization protects not just the people inside the burning building, but the firefighters themselves. Imagine for a moment trying to fight a fire without that clarity, where each team is guessing, stepping on each other's toes, duplicating effort, or missing crucial steps. It's not just inefficient, it's life-threatening. So the next time you pass a firehouse, see a crew checking gear, or hear those sirens in the distance, you'll know a little more about what's inside those vehicles and why they matter. And you'll know that behind every siren is a carefully choreographed dance between engines and trucks, between tools and training, between duty and design. That's the real story behind the fire vehicles we often take for granted. A story built not just on horsepower or hose length, but on history, purpose, and precision. And that's what makes them more than just trucks with flashing lights. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.